Yes, I am super excited to to be on on the bike on the KTM 450 rally bike. So yes, I want to be on the desert right now at this moment. I am Kevin Benavides. I am from Salta, Argentina. I am a professional rally rider. We are in Austria, in Matichofen, in the factory racing motorsport KTM Red Bull. So I am so happy to be here. It's my first time like a factory rider. Um, my story is I started to ride when I was three years old. Really, three years old. So really, really, I, I learned to, to ride a bicycle and directly in the other day on the bike. A small bike, of course. So that was really good experience. And after that, I never stopped. Of course, at the beginning, it was just hobby. And my first race was when I was nine years old in one uh, regional championship of Enduro like in the junior category and after that I started to to compete in different races and then I started to to go into a different region in Argentina and when I was 16 I started to be like a professional enduro racer so to make the national championship Latin American championship uh, world enduro championship six days of, of enduro uh, I spent a lot of years in Enduro. I never th uh, really think to, to move to the rally until 2014. At that moment I said, okay, I think I did a lot of good things in Enduro and it's time to, to change and to, to enter in a new adventure. And that is, uh, 2015 was my first race in a rally in one Argentine, Argentina championship, national championship. And after that, I did like three, four races more and directly to Dakar. And that Dakar was really, really good. I finished in fourth position. So for, for a rookie, it was like really, really nice. I always feel that I born to make something important in my life, you know. So I always believe on that. So I, I work every day to to put my, my name on the history. So that was my, my goal. And I think when I won Dakar I I, I got that, you know, I, I was the big achievement of my life. So was incredible. I feel so so good with a lot of you know emotions. Was also I cry on the finish line. Was like really really excited. That moment was unbelievable. And also because the race also was really really complicated, hard for me. One of the most uh, difficult races of my life. Um, everybody can say that this was the most. Uh, complicated Dakar in the all during this year so also was more important for me because I think it was a really really nice victory and I put my name on the on the history from Argentina and South America uh, that day was really really special because I started in third position uh, Sam was in front Pablo Quintanilla second. So that day uh, I was leading the, the overall, but really close with, the, with Sam and Ricky. So when I started, I said, okay, I will try to do my best, keep my focus and try to don't lose so much time and will be more or less easy. But in Dakar, nothing is easy until the end. At kilometer 15, I did a mistake in the navigation, so there I lose like one minute. So after that, I start to think of, and also I start to remember Dakar 2018 when I get lost <laughs> in the state 10, and I say, 
this is not, it's impossible to happen again to me. And I say, okay, I start to be positive again and I, and I start to push really, really a lot. So, and the kilometer 55, I saw the lines of Sam and Quintanilla in, enter to, in a big valley in the right. And I, I check my roadbook and I say, I, because we come in, in the, into the big dunes, so when I saw the roadbook, I said, for me, it's the other valley. So I cross alone uh, at that moment, and I, I take that valley alone with no lines. So at that moment, I was really scary because if I, I know it, if I make a mistake, I will lose the Dakar, was, you know? So I go like really, really scary for five kilometers more when I, I catch the next weapon. So that moment I relax and I say, oh, I am on the world way. But after that, I start to push to my 120% because I knew that uh, Ricky was really close. And at that moment, uh, I had to open the stage. So I opened like almost 150 kilometers the last day, completely full gas. So that day when I crossed the line was like really special because ah, well, that day was incredible, a lot of emotion. And also when I crossed the line, uh, one friend was with me and it's, that was Paolo and always is with me. <laughs> this one is a good one. Uh, it's a nice story. Uh, during this Dakar, stage five, I had a big crash. I jumped and I land over a big dune. So at that moment, I stopped it in, into the dune. And I, I hit my, my nose with the GPS on the bike in the front. So I broke also the helmet. And also, I had a lot of pain with the, my ankles. And that day, I, I thought that my my Dakar was finished, um, but after that I start to, to ride again over the bike and I continue, continue with a lot of pain, a lot of blood, like a real warrior, <laughs> and also that stage, uh, I won that stage also. Uh, also at that moment my, my goggles was completely with blood, but when I start again, because I don't want to lose uh, a lot of time, so I start to ride again and then <laughs> Uh, I'm, I stopped it because I, I can't see at that moment. So the blood in the yeah, so I clean a little bit and then I continue again, but with a lot of pain. I want to be the first rider to win Dakar with two brands, and also I want to to fight for the title of the World Championship. Also, it's a, a nice title for me. Uh, I really want it. My heart is, was orange always. <laughs> you know, I started uh, with KTM 2008, with KTM Argentina. So I did some years there until 2015. I always use the KTM, so for me was was my color. Also, I have a, a dealer in, in Salta and my home, so also it's a, a business. So now it's like everything is together. You no, know, I am a factory riders. Uh, I have a dealer in Argentina and my home, so I can sell bike that I and I'm using. Also, was really special to be part of the KTM factory team because when I was really young, uh, for example, at when I was 10 years old, I always look in you know, the magazines at that time because no internet. So I always uh, saw the uh, KTM Enduro riders like Salminen or uh, and, uh, Sala. And I say, I, I want to be uh, an official rider. Uh, 
sometime, you know. So now the, the dreams come true. I think many things will be different on the team. I, I will have to adapt to the new bike and also I, I will meet new people. Uh, I, I will have to adapt also to the program, to the races or the training test. So it will be a really nice experience. Yes, I am super excited to, to be on, on the bike, on the KTM 450 rally bike. So yes, I want to be on the desert right now, at this moment. So I have a lot of things to do over the bike, to test for everything. So I just expect to, to be there in a few minutes. Tomorrow we are going to travel to Dubai. So on Friday will, will be my first day on the bike. So, and then we spend like six, seven days there making tests and roadbooks. So it will be an in, in interesting week. And my first uh, rally will be Kazakhstan. So it was the first GP of the season. It depends <laughs> what happened with COVID, of course. But after that also we, have, we will have Silway and that is a beautiful rally and then all the world championship is six race during the year so i think this year we will have a lot of uh, uh, races and trainings so the schedule looks really really nice <laughs>